This video describes the new Reliability Demonstration Test Plan Statlet, new in StatGraphic Centurion version 17. The Reliability Demonstration Test Plan Statlet creates plans to demonstrate that a product meets stated requirements with respect to its reliability. The user specifies one of the following, the reliability of the product, that is the chance that it's still operating as intended, after a duration of time equal to t, or the probability that the product will fail before time t. The user can also specify the mean time to failure or the unknown parameter of the failure time distribution. The program will then determine either the number of units that need to be tested or the duration of the test, the time to test each unit. As an example, let's assume that we produce a product for which the time to failure follows a Weibull distribution with a shape parameter alpha equals 2. This would normally be determined during development. We wish to demonstrate that the reliability of the product after 1,000 hours is at least 90 percent. We intend to test n units for a period of t hours each, and we will deem the test to be successful if no more than k units have failed during the test. How many units do we need to test, and for how long do we need to test those units? The basic solution when you want to demonstrate the reliability of a product is to begin by fixing k. That's the maximum number of failures allowed. And one of the two other inputs, you fix either the number of units that you wish to test or the duration of the test. The program will then solve for the value of the other quantity such that when we create a lower confidence bound for the indicated percentile of the failure time distribution, the one that corresponds to the desired reliability, that that lower confidence bound exceeds the time to be demonstrated. To create the required test plan, I've loaded StackGraphic Centurion version 17. I'll now go to the top menu and select Statlets, Reliability Demonstration Test Plans. This will open up a Statlet window with a number of controls on the toolbar. The pull-down list for Demonstrate allows me to select the item I wish to demonstrate either the reliability, a percentile, the mean time to failure, or a distribution parameter. In this case, I'll tell it that I'd like to demonstrate that the reliability of my product is at least 90 percent at 1,000 hours. I'll also go and pull down the list for the failure time distributions. You'll see that there are 10 different distributions that may be selected for failure times. Except for the exponential distribution, there'll be a parameter that also needs to be specified. In this case, with the Weibull distribution, it's the shape parameter. The confidence level field lets me specify the confidence level to be attached to my statement of reliability. Once I've indicated the problem to be solved, I can move to the three other fields at the right of the toolbar. The top field, max failures, specifies the value for k. That's the maximum allowable number of failures in order to pass the test. The fix field indicates which of the two quantities I want to fix, either n, the number of units to test, or t, the duration of the test. After I make my settings, I can press the Update button, and the 
program will solve for the quantity that I did not specify. In this case, if I told it to fix the number of units to test at 20, it tells me that the test duration T would need to be 1,192 hours. In other words, I'll test 20 units of my product and if after 1,192 hours there have been no failures, then I've passed the test. The graph displayed below the toolbar is also important. It shows as a function of the probability that a single unit survives a thousand hours, the probability that I'll pass the indicated reliability test. You'll notice that if the true reliability of my product is 90%, there's only about a 5% chance of passing the test. In fact, it's not until my product has a reliability after a thousand hours of about 98 percent or better that I have a high probability of passing this particular test. One way to improve the characteristics of the test is to increase the maximum number of allowable failures. Currently it's set to zero but if I start to increase it perhaps to one or two or three you'll see that the curve rises more quickly than it did before. Unfortunately, the trade-off here is that the required duration of the test is also longer. On the other hand, if I can't afford to run the test for 2,000 hours, I can fix, instead of the number of units, the test duration. Let's tell it, for example, that we don't want to test for any more than 250 hours and press update. In that case I'd need to test 1,179 units. If three or less failed after 250 hours then I could make the claim I wish to make. One final thing to show you and that is what happens if I wish to demonstrate not that the reliability equals something, but that the mean time to failure equals something. Suppose I wanted to demonstrate that the mean time to failure was 1,000 hours. I want to do so with 95% confidence, assuming the same Weibull distribution. If I am willing to accept three failures, and fix the test duration at 250, then the number of units I need to test is 160, and there's quite a large probability of passing the test, even at a reliability of 90%. In fact, I might be able to bring the maximum number of failures down and still have a pretty good probability of passing the test if I test only 62 units. The test you'll wish to use will depend a lot on your specific circumstances, but the Reliability Demonstration Test Plan Statlet makes it easy to see your options.